Pemphigus vulgaris or PV. The term Pemphigus derives from the Greek word Pemphix meaning blister or bubble. Pemphigus is a group of chronic autoimmune blistering diseases that arise by the presence of antibodies against desmosomal adhesion proteins. Pemphigus vulgaris or PV is generally the commoner form of Pemphigus is intraepithelial blistering disease affecting the skin and the mucous membranes more common in Europe the United States and the India Pemphigus vulgaris can occur at any age but is usually seen between fourth and sixth decades of life in Iran North India and Pakistan patients with Pemphigus vulgaris have a relatively low age of onset of disease Pemphigus seems to affect men and women equally with a slight female preponderance. Pemphigus vulgaris has been reported in all ethnic groups but is more common in Ashkenazi Jews, Mediterranean, Iranian and Indian populations. Signs and symptoms Pemphigus vulgaris presents with oral lesions in 50 to 70% of patients. These may precede cutaneous lesions by months or be the only manifestations of the disease. Mucous membrane of oral cavity involved in almost all patients with pemphigus vulgaris. Ill-defined, irregular in shape, erosions in buccal or palatine area are painful and are slow to heal. Intact bulla are rare in mouth. Pemphigus vulgaris may involve larynx with subsequent hoarseness. Other mucosal surfaces may be involved including conjunctiva, esophagus, causing odynophagia and dysphagia involving labia, vagina, cervix, vulva, penis, urethra, anus, and nasal mucosa. Skin lesions of pemphigus vulgaris are flaccid blister formation filled with clear fluid that arises on healthy skin or on an erythematous base. Blisters are fragile, they may rupture, producing painful erosions. These erosions are the most common skin presentation. Cute or chronic peronychia, subungal hematomas, and nail dystrophies have been reported with pemphigus vulgaris. Now pathophysiology. Blisters in pemphigus vulgaris are associated with binding of IgG autoantibodies to creatinocyte cell surface molecules which are desmosomes. Cell-to-cell -cell adhesion in epidermis involves several keratinocyte cell surface molecules which are desmosomes including desmoglein 1 and desmoglein 3. Binding of autoantibodies IgG to desmoglein 1 and 3 which results in separation of keratinocytes from one another. A change known as acantholysis which results in blister formation in epidermis. This process is classified as type 2 hypersensitivity reaction. On histology, basal keratinocytes usually still attached to basement membrane leading to keratistic appearance called tombstoning. Transudative fluid accumulates in between keratinocytes and the basal layer making suprabasal split forming a blister.